go ahead and grab onto these parallel bars. Drop your left foot behind you. And just take a normal step. Normal, no, don't do anything funky, but step all the way through with your left foot. Good, and back. A couple steps back and forth. Leads with their hips, powers through, normal. I'm going to put my hands on your ASIS. I'm going to try to give you some resistance. Just keep doing it. So, ready and go. Okay, good. Boom. A little hard. Good. Go. Good. I'm pushing. And it's, it's no problem for her to fight through me because everything's low. She loaded her core, firing through. Okay. Now I forgot to inform you that in the night somebody came and took your left leg. So now you're an amputee. So, <laughs> well, we can, we can rebuild you. So, do a couple of steps. When, when amputees take that step, they do that little posterior tilt. They sort of flip the leg out in front. It's almost like you got a pebble on your shoe. Sort of kicking the pebble off, landing your heel on the ground. Practice that a couple of times. Let me see you do that. She's good. We did not have this conversation before y'all came into class. Perfect. So you see what she's doing. She's loading that right leg, not really stepping through at all. I'm going to do the same thing. Hands on your ASIS. Take that step now. No, no seriously. Take a step. Come on, we don't got all that. <laughs> okay? Point is, she's got no power. She's got absolutely no power. It's gone. Because she's trying to walk from here up. Okay? And the fact of the matter is, I can sit here with my off hand, take a step, and impact her ability to walk. Now imagine as an amputee, and you're trying to walk, and that 15-year-old kid on his iPhone playing his thing walks right in front of you while you're trying to cross the mall. You're not paying attention. They catch you in mid-step. What's going to happen? You're, you're going down. Or you're going to stumble and want to hit the kid with the 15-year-old iPhone. So, but the point is, you got no out. Now go back to doing it the, the, the right way. <coughs> Boom. Now the wrong way. Boom. I got messed up with that in her tracks. Okay? And the whole, she's got no power when she's walking. So, do you guys learn NDT, PNF? On that stuff, so you know about the diagonals, anterior elevation, posterior depression during gait. Okay, great exercise to work with prosthetic patients, stroke patients, anybody who's got a gait abnormality. Okay, get them on the sideline doing that. Now we're incorporating functional movement with the pelvic muscles, and we get back up when we go to work. So all you need to do, literally, is just go ahead and push into my hand. Good, push into my hand. Now stop. Do that one more time. Push. Stop. Right there. Look. Right there. I said push into my hand with her hip. Her right knee's starting to bend, her left knee's starting to bend. I didn't tell her to do any of that. But that's, what ha that's what's happening just naturally as a response to firing my pelvic muscle. My knee's starting to bend here as I'm loading. This knee's starting to bend as I'm about to release it. And if we were to say keep on going, she would just take her step and keep right on going. 